Hi, we're going to talk about molality. You know, even saying that, it feels funny on your tongue. Molality. You can see how that is spelled. We really use molality only with colligative properties, okay? Um, and you'll remind, uh, remember that colligative properties, these are properties where it just, um, the solute, it depends on the amount of the solute. Um, and so the concentration, you remember concentration, it's going to just simply be the amount of solute per solvent. Um, the concentration is the molality. Um, so the symbol that we use for molality is a little m. That was why I was very purposeful in doing a lowercase m here and a lowercase m here. I don't want you to get it confused with molarity. Molarity. Uh, molarity has the r on it right there. That's the only difference between those is the l and the r. And molarity we use everywhere. We use molarity all the time. Molality, you will rarely see this. It's only in colligative properties. And it is weird. Um, of all of our um, concentrations, and there are several videos you can watch for all different kinds of concentrations, this is the only one that the numerator is divided by solvent. I call it the odd man out. It sounds funny, it looks funny, uh, the word itself, and the denominator is solvent. Everything else is divided by, you know what it is, solution, total solution. Uh, so kind of an odd concentration. It's going to be moles of solute divided by the kilogram of solvent, okay? Um, so I'm going to put a star right here by that solvent. That's what you're going to have to remember. Lowercase m and solvent is in the denominator. Um, now in contrast, molarity, remember that's mole solute, numerator is the same, but the denominator is liters, so volume, liters of solution. Those are the two things that you're going to have to keep straight. All right, I'd like to do a couple of problems for you. Let's start with this number two. We're going to dissolve three moles of potassium chloride into two kilograms of water. So first thing I do is identify my solute and my solvent. The solute is what is going to be dissolved. So the solute is my three moles of potassium chloride and the solvent does the dissolving. So the solvent is going to be water. Our number one uh, polar solvent is water. We've got two kilograms of water. Now I simply take my concentration here, the ratio, moles of solute divided by kilogram of solvent. So little m molality is going to equal the moles of solute, three moles of potassium chloride divided by my kilograms of solvent, two kilograms of water. And that will give us 1.5 molal potassium chloride, okay? So that tells us um, for every one kilogram of water, we've got 1.5 moles of potassium chloride. And the way you say that is molal. Let me write that down. M-O-L-A-L. 1.5 molal. 1.5 molal. Um, you remember with molarity, we would call it molar. Molar. So this is molal, ending with an L. I'm sorry that scientists named these so close. Okay, let's do another one. So now we're going to dissolve 20 grams of sodium chloride into 500 grams of water. This is more typical of a question you'd be asked. This is like, okay, the beginning question, just to make sure you understand the numerator and denominator units, but this is really what we would do in the lab. Okay, so my solute, what's getting dissolved, is going to be the 20 grams of sodium chloride and my solvent was doing the dissolving is the 500 grams of water. Okay, so we identified solute and solvent, but now we need to get the correct units. Um, I need moles of solute. I've got grams. So let's use molar mass and we will go from grams to moles. If we take one sodium is 22.99 and one chlorine is 35.45, Add that up, we get 58.44 grams per mole. So let's put this here. Grams goes in the denominator, so it cancels. We'll have 58.44 grams of sodium chloride for every one mole of sodium chloride. So in my calculator, 20 divided by 58.44, and our answer is, I have three sig figs, 0.342 moles, 0.342 moles. Um, now my solvent, I have to have that in kilograms. 
So we'll go from grams, I put that in the denominator, and kilograms is what I want. We put that in the numerator. One kilogram has a thousand grams. So 500 divided by a thousand gives us 0 0.5, I'll put a decimal here, kilograms of water. So now we can put this together to find molality. <laughs> So little m is going to be moles of solute, 0.342 moles, and remember that's moles of sodium chloride, divided by the kilograms of solvent, which was 0.5 kilograms of water. So divide that, and we are going to get 0.684, molal, so little m, sodium chloride. Now, what that tells me, I got 0.684 molal sodium chloride. It means for every one kilogram of water, we have 0.684 moles. So let me give this to you. Let's say that you're given this. How do you break it apart? Always, 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 when you're dealing with concentrations, break apart the units into the numerator and the denominator. This is how I would break this apart. If I'm given 0.684 molal sodium chloride, this is really what it is. It is 0.684 moles sodium chloride for every one kilogram of water. There you have it. So it's this number understood to be over a one, and it's moles for your numerator, kilogram for the denominator, and then it's whatever your solute is and whatever your solvent is. So rewrite that, um, because you could be given something backwards or they give you molality, and they say, well, if you have um, one kilogram, how many moles do you have? Let's do that. Let's say that you're given one kilogram of water, and they want to know moles of sodium chloride. Okay, I broke this apart. I broke it apart so I can see the moles of the sodium chloride, the kilogram of the water. I'm simply going to take my kilogram and multiply it. Well, if I've got one kilogram of water, notice kilograms cancels, that means I must have 0.684 moles of sodium chloride floating inside of that water. Um, so good reminder, when you're dealing with concentrations, um, if you're given the concentration, always break apart the units for numerator and denominator, and then you can do your math. Looking at the units, it will tell you what to do. If you multiply or you, d you divide, remember you're just trying to cancel units. Um, so there you have it, molality used with colligative properties. And if you have a question on colligative properties, please watch my video on that. Um, and other concentrations that you want to look at, go to LeanThink for YouTube or LeanThink.org. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.